Baba Mima, Oma Mima, and Mimima. Ato Biju, and Yanu. Oba ti a ye, a ti a ron kogba. Ton fino a mi yon se bube. Ari iru a la, a bi a man lo joy ja. A anu ni wari ba o, o ri o fe ni. Pi e yara a wan kaka o, je po lo soro de wan. O je ki ipi ko se le si wan. O je ki ipo ba ba ko so po la ni wa. Ni ni yon ba ba, o go je o ru ko re. Lo ru ko jesu krisi, o lo a bi a o fe e wa. Lori e bi la papo, a tu pe o ma, lori bo gwa wo ma baba wa, a tu pe lori o ma o ma, a tu pe lori a ya o ma, a tu pe lori o ko ma, a tu pe lori a wan to wa ni bi, o lo du ma re, ti wan yu a yo jo di pe lo baba, a tu pe fa wan to li ni a jo wa, bo so wan de mi la yo a ti a la fia, a tu pe ni bi wo wo ti a ru e ta ta go mbo de, wik pe a nou re, o to fo yi jile yi la papo, Lord, call Jesus. Holy, I bear our power. Allah, in your name, I bear it. Lord, you are the Lord. Allah, in your name, we pray. Baba, we come out of your holy word. Il est assu, il est amant. Ah, the moment that all of us are in jail, that we are praying, our Lord say, our Befun. Allah, we keep Jia, we keep Jeba. Our pain, our Lord Jere. Our pain, our Lord, our Lord say, Lord, we call Jesus. Baba, tell us about our power. You know where we are. You know our power. 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 You know Looking from the Gospel according to St. Luke's chapter 17, we shall read from verse 11. Luke 17, from verse 11. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices saying Jesus master have mercy on us when he saw them he said to them go and show yourselves to the priests we want to welcome our father his eminence doctor CK Uche, by the grace of God, the president of Methodist Church, Nigeria. And we are blessed today that Baba, out of uh, love, abundance of God's goodness, when I told him that uh, today is uh, Baba's uh, birthday, and I told Baba that His Eminence may be in Lagos. And he may not be, but I will inform him. Ah, Baba was happy. He said, if the seminars can make it, I will be happy. Mm -hmm. Baba is supposed to be in Lokigwe at houses this weekend. But when I received a call two days ago that I should meet him at Chinobu today, I was very, very happy. That star. Then I called uh, Baba again that. I can, I have heard the word of uh, the seminar that he will be here. Nigeria. 
because it's so important. And that honor cannot be given to any other person until he leaves the world at 120. <laughs> you know, but the man, 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 man. he deserves it. So when I heard that his birthday will be today from my mission, I decided to cancel an engagement I have in the southeast. You know, I had to honor him. And so I had to worship briefly at Tunubu. Join the celebration. He's always conscious of God's presence in his life. Of what God can do in his life. He's always appreciative, you know, by his own efforts. And nobody becomes anything without God. That's why uh, we have in the Bible that elevation, authority, promotion, neither comes from east or west. It comes from the Lord. He is the one who exalts one and he throws another. And that is why he works in mysterious ways to perform his wonders. He's always saying thank you. I presided over his 80th birthday at uh, Methodist Church of the Trinity, Tunubu, five years ago. And uh, not only that, many occasions, many occasions when he had birthday or uh, other occasions, he will always invite us. And I know that uh, his home at Ikwero has become a running point for the great and mighty and for the lowest in society. Though God has placed him very high, he does not look down on downtrodden. He's always servicing the downtrodden. As you see in here, Baba, he's not only helping the church, the community. Many retired people are on his pension. Many people who are 70 and, and above will always smile at his lajee, at his generosity, and uh, he's an uncommon man, a dangerous giver. A dangerous giver. He gives and gives and gives everything. And that's why God has continued to elevate him. But well, let me take you, tell you that we have made a very good choice. Because everything about life is choice. And I saw a preacher some few weeks ago who preached on choice. He said that every human being passes through A, B, C, D, E, A, Alpha, your, your conception in your mother's womb. And then B, your birth, delivery. But after delivery, I want to jump C. You, you have what you call D, death, and E, end. The end can be eternity in heaven with God or eternity in hell with Satan. But then, eternity with God in heaven or eternity with uh, Satan in hell depends on C, choice. If you choose to serve God, if you choose to serve humanity, if you choose to give yourself for God, service of humanity, you are on your way to heaven. And uh, for you to be identified by the other of the Uduwa nation is a thing of great honor. And that shows that your lifestyle fits volumes on the positive side. And that is what we are lacking in Nigeria. Nigerian states is not practicing true democracy. We have transactional government in Nigeria. How, what can you steal? What can you give to yourself? We don't have transformational government. Transformational government asks about the downtrodden, the well-being of the people. How do we make them happy? How do we make them have joy? How do we have them make uh, peace? How do we have them, you know, uh, be comfortable? How do we generate employment? But you have given job to many people. And I know as you are standing here, you are not only having a university in the uh, Republic, fully built, but you are sponsoring two universities in Nigeria, where you pay all the staff, from the vice chancellor to the last person. And this uh, bad day, affords me an opportunity to say that you must also add your university. 
wasting. Mm -hmm. What we are doing for uh, on those state, uh, on the state university mm -hmm. and the other university mm -hmm. after today's bad day mm -hmm. at Methodist Church University, mm -hmm. uh, your son is here mm -hmm. to support to support that and uh, the, and uh, and the paramount ruler of New Balan who has mm -hmm. become my friend will support that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are doing this, you are laying up your treasures in heaven. Because the Bible says, Jesus said, lay not up your treasures on earth, where thieves steal, where moat destroys, where there's rusting and combustion. But lay up your treasures in heaven, where thieves don't have access, no rusting, no combustion. Everything is eternal unto eternity. So that day, we are very, very happy. At whatever, 85, 86, 86. Look, look at how you are looking like a young boy of 20 years. <laughs> and I admire your shoe. Yeah, your shoe is very good. Everything I'm about to do is sparkling. And uh, God is doing a lot in your life. And He will do more. Amen. Amen. Because you are just God's own. We are willing to serve God, we are willing to serve humanity. So we are here to rejoice with you and to assure you that all your labors in the Lord are not in vain. God is going to honor you, God is going to bless you. And I want to urge few Nigerians here to emulate this life. This life is thanksgiving, sacrifice personified, selflessness personified, fear of God personified. Sympathy for humanity and empathy for humanity personified. Those are the ways I would describe this human being created by God. And you will never lose. <laughs> God will add. God of addition will be adding to you, adding to you. And your business will grow not arithmetically, your business will grow geometrically. Because you have the fear of God. New life is added to you today. And I want to proclaim to you as the leader of your church that more life is added to you. Mm -hmm. I called you one night, it was night. I took courage to call you. And you told me you were in London or so far. So, and I said, there's a rumor in Nigeria that you are dead. <laughs> yes, I, I as you remember. I said, there's a rumor. said, I'm alive, oh. <laughs> I only went for rest and treatment. But the rumor here that you are dead, I said, you cannot die. And that day, I ran to my altar in the chapel in my house and lie down. I was rolling myself. Before I called you, I rolled myself. I rolled myself. I rolled myself. I rolled myself. And then I, pray, I embraced a big cross. And then I used my phone to call you. And you said to me, Kabiesi, because that's what you call me. That's spiritual Kabiesi, not this type. <laughs> so, so you said, my prelate and my life, and my wife, every one of us, shall pay for job. You will live long. Amen. Those who wish you death, uh, I don't know what I've said to them, but what they are wishing you is more life. Amen. They are going to live more. To do more for God, to do more for humanity. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.